your name, boy? Private Watkins, sir. Front and center, Private Watkins. We were in enemy territory. You will be dead because you're standing on a live mine. That's right, men. This is a minefield, but it's a dummy minefield. But we're going to treat it like it's real. Now, sometimes mines are placed in certain patterns. Live man, die for cover! Looks like you got yourself into a hell of a problem, boy. You let me step on a live man? Especially for it to go only when you step off. All you have to do is replace the safety pin. Private Watkins. Sir. You and the men, bring your flak jackets. Lay them around. I'll bust you for this, Johnny Barrows. I'll have you kicked out of the service. You hear me? You hear me? I'll have you kicked out of the service.
Another stinking drunk. You know, that's what I hate about this street. Any ID? What's your name, boy? Check it. Same here. Where are you going? Oh, too much to drink, young fella. Where you been? What's your name? Hey, come on, we're talking to you. Why don't you tell us who you are, boy? Come on, tell us. Who what's your right? Press on the table. Come on, empty your pockets. What do we got here? Well, you look at these. What are these, the Silver Star? Well, where did you get these from? You better start talking before he gets angry. You got your discharge papers? Start talking. Damn it, or I'll split your skull wide open. Now, where'd you steal these from? Huh? Look, I'm talking to you. You get these drunk. Talk, damn it. I'm talking to you, boy. All right, you dirty bastard. I'll pick your ass in two. Hold it. He's resisting an officer. What'd you book him on? Uh, 502. 502? If he's drunk, then what the hell's holding him up? Well, when we first brought him in, he was pretty well. Now go on, write it up in your report. I'll take it from you. I know you. You're, yeah, it's football. Johnny. Yeah, Johnny Barrels. Johnny Barrels. <laughs> Boy, I'll never forget that game with State. The moment you ran it back 95 yards for a touchdown. I was there. Boy, what a game. You were really great. Johnny Barrels. All-state high school football star. At two years of college, was on his way to becoming an All-American a few years back, when all of a sudden he up and left town because of a scandal involving a co-ed. Next time I heard about Johnny Barrows, I read it in the paper. Uh, he single-handedly took on the whole Viet Cong army. Welcome home, Johnny. Hey, what do you want? It's 
want something to eat. You're not allowed back here. Yeah, I know, man, but I don't want no trouble. All I want what is something. What do you think this is, charity? Hey, I ain't looking for no charity. Hey, I bomb. It. Out. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Go on, Nick, get him something. Miss Nancy, she operates this restaurant. Hey, listen, Joe. When I want 15 cases of whiskey, I want 15 cases of whiskey. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you one more chance. Football at SC. We played against each other. Yeah, you ran through us like a tank. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Say, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, didn't you win a silver star in the service? Yeah. yeah. Only men you kill. Why? Well, I could use a good man like you. I give you a job with all the benefits. What kind of job? Well, I guarantee you, you won't get paid off in silver stars. Thanks, but uh, no thanks. Oh, hold on. I just offered you a job. Yeah, but I don't need that kind of job. Really? Well, see how many meals you can buy with a silver star.
Have the pangs of hunger driven you to this young man? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Theodore Rasputin Waterhouse, professor of philosophy, retired, of course. My friends simply call me the professor. What did you say your name was? Johnny Barrows. Barrows, Johnny Barrows. Well, it's obvious to the naked eye that you ain't been on the bum for too long, Johnny Barrows. Follow me. Where are we going? An inquisitive mind is the first prerequisite to an education. I like that quality in you. We is headed to the soup line. Now, the first thing you've got to remember is that if you want to be a bum, you got to stay healthy, hear me? I do not eat out of garbage cans. I am catered to at the soup line. I don't ever smoke, and I take a daily stroll for my exercise, although I have been known to take a sip of vino every now and then. Now, are we going to make our move, or are we going to make our move? we're going to have to listen to a sermon about how our souls are all headed for damnation. And then we will be indulged in a gourmet meal, which, if you have an imagination, could be oxtail soup, potato pancakes, pheasant on the glass. Come right over here. Now, this young man looks like he's not satisfied with this. I thought you wanted it with nothing on it, not with everything on it. Now, you don't want to get stains on that shirt, do you? Have a bite of this, my man. This is fresh stuff, real fresh. That's pretty good. Mm. Send the back and get an other. Mmm. What are we drinking here? Root beer? Haven't I seen you? This must be a public relations body. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, right? A public relations body. Well, now, how's about now? Public relations work down here ain't been too good. Has about buying us a couple of, uh, couple of dogs with kraut. On this fella here in the lollipop shirt. It's a lollipop shirt. Is that what that is? Yeah, he's heading down for salvation with us. <laughs> <laughs> he's heading somewhere. Shall we take him with us? Mm. You bring that coke? As good as ever, yeah. Good. You come with us now. Good, sir. We're taking you. That's why, uh... Hey, Carlo. Tell him to hurry up with the sign. It should have been up by now. I'll take care of it, Pop. Hey, what's taking you assholes so long? What do you think we're paying you for? Carlo, don't talk dirty. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't like it. <laughs> you see your big brother. In his own way, he gets things done. <laughs> yes, Papa. Hey, Tony, Tony, Tony. You know, all the time I think you soft when you're messing around with the flowers. In my own mind, I think you uh, have no interest in my business. And then you come up with this idea. It's a perfect setup for operation. 
Yes, Papa. God has been good to me. I am blessed to have two such wonderful sons. Hey, Papa, look, what about the Racconi family? Hey, what about the Racconi family? Yeah. I do nothing against them. Huh? I'm a businessman. I open a new business. I sell flowers, all right? Right. What is not right is that Don Racconi tries to tell me what I can do, what I cannot do. Carlo. Yeah, Come here, please. You want me, Papa? Your brother Tony is worried about the Racconi family. Hey, I... What's the matter, Tony? He thinks that we should be afraid of the big Racconi family. Hey, Tony, you afraid? No, I, I am not afraid. I, I, I just said that, but that there could be some trouble. Hey, look, you run the flower shop, I'll take care of the trouble. Right, Papa? <laughs> right, Carlo. <laughs> My baby boy. Maybe he's afraid he'd get his green thumb dirty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Papa. Let me show you the operation. All right. I want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. She must be out doing her shopping today, huh? Mm -hmm. That's nice. She's looking for that turkey. Get in. Mario wants to talk to you. How you feeling, Johnny? I'm all right. That's good. Look, my father, he'd like to talk to you. It's about the same thing we talked about before, Mario. Oh, I... Hold on, hold on, Johnny. Just listen to his offer, OK? You see, the Da Vinci family, they're giving us some trouble. <laughs> they're trying to move into L.A. Well, whatever you do, don't interrupt my father when he talks. You listen. He'll tell you when you're gonna speak. Oh, come in, come in. Have a seat, Mr. Barris. California is a long way from New York, but not far enough for me to get rid of my troubles with some people. I thought the old days were behind us. Mr. Barris. How much are you worth? I don't know, but... $100,000. Veramente. <laughs> Mario, he tells me you have killed many men. Good, I will pay you your worth. But if you do or do not accept my offer, your lips must be sealed about anything you hear or see, or your life is meaningless. You understand that. You want to say something? Say, talk. I was a soldier when I killed those men, Mr. Riccone. And you are what now? I'm a civilian. A man must do what he must do. Goodbye, Mr. Barris. Nancy will take you wherever you want to go. You 
No, some of them have been loyal to the family for 40 years. Some of them more. Giuseppe Domenico. That's a long time. Not for a family. Family goes on, even after death. Family takes care of its own. Yeah, we have, we have trusts now, lawyers, CPAs. We're in business now. Well, what do we do if Da Vinci moves in? <laughs> you know, when we were boys, uh, he, he was always full of tricks, Da Vinci. Now that he's an old man, he's a master of tricks. Son of bitch. Maybe this is where your Johnny Barros comes in. He says he don't want to play. He says no. Then you say yes. No, then you say yes, yes, again and again, until you get what you want. But for now, I think we're going to go with our old friend Antonio Gatti. Yeah. It's your decision, Johnny. How do you measure a man's worth, Nancy? Is it by what he owns? His dreams or what he wants from life? My dreams are small. A home. Some land, something I can own that nobody can ever take away from me. What you want, it's not that much different from what I want. I'd like to get away from all this, too. I'll think about it, Nancy, but I'll have to try it my way first. Good luck. You tell Mario thanks. People need a job, fella. What can you do? I don't know. I guess I could pump gas or something. A lot more to pumping gas than it seems. Like, well, uh, you'd be handling money. How much education you got? About two years college. How come you didn't finish? Well, I went to Vietnam. Let me see this starts papers. Hey, can't you just uh, see how I work out first? What's the matter? You got a disarm or discharge? Yeah. Having trouble finding a job, huh? OK, man, all right. I get the message. Wait a minute. I'll give you a job. Oh, yeah? One goof up, and you're fired. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, where do I start? Well, you clean out the Johns first, and uh, when you get through with that, I want this garage floor scrubbed until there's not a spot left. And then I got a couple of cars out back you can wash up. What you waiting for?
about a week. When do I start pumping gas? Whenever I get ready for you, dude. I'll let you know. Uh, you ain't giving me a run around, right? Listen, I'm giving you a place to sleep. You're lucky to be working here. You don't like it, quit. Now, you're doing a good job cleaning up. Now, why don't you go on back to work? And when do I get paid? Oh, you college kids are just alike. When do I get paid? Don't worry. I'll pay you. Since that crazy clown came out here, this sun stopped shining. That's the job, isn't it? Huh? Bad news, Bob. The Mitchies moved in. He's opened up a flower shop to cover his operation. <laughs> so the master of tricks has made his move. Against my warning, son of a bitch. We gotta do something. No, 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 no. We don't do these kind of things no more. Mario, uh, you go find Antonio Gatti. Say to him, Antonio Gatti, Don Racconi says for you to come. He will know. Now. If you yeah. come back, it'll be waiting for you. Guardati questo giovanotto. So, now you know. Yes, he has moved in. I gave him warning. But in spite of my warning, he made the move, this... this comedian with his disgusting tricks. Antonio Gatti, who knows better than you what must be done? Is uh, Carlo Da Vinci here? Yeah, he's in the back. I'll uh, I'll get him for you. Sorry, man, I must have overslept. Well, I ain't paying you to sleep. Get a move on. No. You're supposed to have the water on, the coffee hot, and ready. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. Well, I didn't get to lay it out. Get to work. Hurry. Hey, I was uh, kind of hoping today you'd give me a chance to change some oil or give a lube job or something. Yeah, well, well, we'll see. Right now, you get that coffee on. Get it ready. And when you finish that, clean the restroom. I already cleaned the restroom. Well, then clean them again. Or, or, or dump the trash or, or do something. Get to work, damn it. Hey, oh no you don't! 
How you doing? Well, I'm hanging on. Yeah, good. You remember Nancy here, don't you? Yeah. Hi, Nancy. How you doing? Just great, working man. Yeah. You got yourself a messy job here, don't you? Yeah, but it's honest. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do things the hard way, don't you, Johnny? You need any gas? Who's this creep? That's the owner. Beat it. Well, I talked to Johnny here. Johnny, the big hero, huh? Yeah. What are you doing working on a place like this? Well, I need the money. If you wanted just a flunky job, why didn't you come to work for me at the restaurant? <laughs> Thanks, Mario, but the answer's still no. You're a stubborn man, hero. Man, you're really stubborn. Chauffeur, get me out of here. Bye, Jim. Somebody brought you flowers, Papa. For me? Yes. Who are they from? They didn't say. Antonio loved roses. Now he sleeps with roses. The Vinci family. Leave it. Call Da Vinci. Set up a meeting at once. For oh, Pop. They killed Antonio. We gotta hit back. No, 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 no. This is exactly what he will be expecting me to do. You do as I say. They done the recording. A minute, I know you have called this meeting because you feel we can settle our differences, and I agree. I have chosen this place because it is sacred ground. We both have people buried here. Here, our word must be sacred, huh? I agree, Don Davich. I agree. I have much respect for this ground. It's good that we should settle our differences here in this place. I agree. Good. Now we can talk. This new business I have started, I can make lots of money dealing to the blacks and the Chicanos. Da Vinci, you know, I, I do not like what you've got in your mind to do. I know how you think, but what difference can it make to these people? They are people like you, like me. You wouldn't want anyone selling dope to your own kids, would you? Then, uh, your answer is no, huh? Yes, my answer is no. You will not change your mind. Buonanotte, Don Rocconi. Buonanotte.
Allen. It's payday. Told you I'd pay you. It's just $21, man. What is this for? I've been here almost a month. What's your beef? I only took out for the parts money you claim you lost. Besides, you drink too many soda pops and you take too many coffee breaks. Coffee breaks? Man, janitors make more than this. Listen, I, I wouldn't trust you near my, my, my gas pumps or, or my cash register. I docked you for standing out there talking to your friend. Yeah, the one that called me a, a freak. Look like Richard's having trouble. Let's check it out. Now you take your check and get the hell out of here. You're fired. I ain't leaving until I get the rest of my money. Out! I want you to get John Allen. Get him. And tell him to come here to the hospital. Tell him he can mean a, a lot of money for him. Huh? And tell him. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but you'll have to leave now. All right. Thank you for letting me see him. Johnny, I'm talking to you. All right, so you're hard of hearing. But get this, you're free to go. You must know some pretty important people. Someone upstairs said let you go. And it's strange how that guy you beat up all of a sudden changes his mind about pressing charges. Hmm. Please, Mr. Barrows, a lady is waiting. Johnny, it's horrible. What are you talking about? 
I haven't heard about Mr. Rocconi and Mario. Well, what happened? The Da Vinci family shot them down like dogs. Mr. Rocconi is dead. Mario? He took so many hits, it's a wonder he's even alive. He wants to see you, Johnny. He can mean a lot of money for you. I can't, Nancy. I just can't. You understand, don't you? Yeah. All right, let's go. some paperwork or something. I want to talk. Sure. Come closer, Johnny. It's hard for me to talk. What do you want more than anything else? I don't know, Mario. Maybe uh, to own something. A piece of land, maybe. I'm offering you a hundred thousand dollars. And the choicest piece of land you'd ever want. What I have to do? Kill somebody? Just give me what I want. I want you to kill the Vinci family. How much they pay in the army? Hmm? Eighty seven fifty a month. Yeah, but that was different, Mario. That was war. That bullshit. Same thing. This is a family of maggots. They're not human. They killed my pop. I want him dead. I know every hit man in the country. You hear me? That's why this job's gonna be easy for you. hundred thousand dollars and a piece of land, huh? Uh-huh. Now listen to this. That family of upright citizens, they run a flower shop. And they're supplying dope to the black and the Mexican communities. You not only will be getting rid of some scum for me, but you'll be doing a favor to your own people. Now believe me, Johnny, the only vice me and my pop ever ran through this community was the numbers. We made our money in restaurants, wineries, and linens. You hear me? We tried to keep the dope out. We tried, Johnny. We really tried. Now, what do you think, Johnny? You do it for me? I don't know, Mario. I'll think about it. Well, I want you to do it real quick. You can get in touch with me through Nancy. Yeah. Okay, you give us some good thought. Send some flowers to Mario Lacone. Oh, sure, Papa. Why don't you put on the card? Rest in peace. 
There will be another day. Our deepest sympathies, the Da Vinci's. Oh, that's very original, Papa. Terrific, Papa. Now, down to serious business. This girl, Nancy. I want somebody to talk to her. I have a feeling she's running things while well, Mario's in the hospital getting over his cold. Yeah. He got so many holes in his ass, he got a draft on the inside. <laughs> hey, don't talk dirty. You know I don't like it, huh? Sorry, Papa. I want you to find her, get to her. I don't want her messing up things. I'll take care hey, of that. Hey, Papa, hey, hey, let me take care of that, huh? Please. All right, Tony. <laughs> All right. Hey. All right, so much for this business. Your mom is waiting at the church. You know how she hates to be kept waiting, huh? Come on, let's go. Relax, hero. My men are out there searching for her. They'll come up with something. Words out on the street that she was picked up by Carlo de Vinci. I feel helpless. I don't like being in here while she's out there. Uh, how do you think I feel? I tell you, Mario, if they harm her, they'll have to answer to me. That's the killer instinct. It's coming back, huh, you know? <laughs> Money wouldn't do it, but love will, huh? I'll cut the crap, will you? Now, how about my offer? I'm thinking about it. Good, you keep on thinking. You okay, baby? Yeah, I'm okay. They did what? So sickening what they made me do. You just take it easy, Nancy, huh? Just take care. I'll be over later. Does that help make up your mind? Good, baby. That was real good. You almost made me believe you. Just keep on believing me. And we'll have everything we ever wanted. <laughs> Once we get everybody out of the way, it'll be all free for us. Mm. Hero, just be ready to play ball. <laughs> There's 10 G's in there. There's some information on Tony Da Vinci. Now, you don't come back here for nothing after you bumped him off. The cops are gonna be watching me for some information. <laughs> they don't know, but they're gonna be my best protection. You staying close with Nancy, huh? There's an address on the back of that envelope. You can pick up all the hardware you need from there. Balls. What's your problem, Bill? Ah, he's just a little nervous. Just waiting around. It's starting to get next to me. Come on, I'll play another hand of gin. I'm sick and tired of playing cards. Now I'm going home. I promised Mama I'd take her some flowers. See you later. Now. See you, Tony. See you, Tony. It's been slow around here anyway.
in the back and help me with that funeral. Would I have to? Yeah. Those things that give me the creeps. Go ahead, give me a hand. It's only flowers. Oh, yeah? Only flowers, huh? Then why the hell don't you help me? I'm playing solitaire. Come on, Ben. Come on. Oh, uh, shit. say for yourself. Yes, my Dan. Up to now, you have been a good and faithful servant. I have, my Dan. You know, you have cost me the life of my oldest son. But I... His mother won't speak to me. She is like walking dead. I'm sorry, my Don. Destroy yourself. Use your own gun. But... Listen, baby, I'm going to leave town for a couple of weeks. The hero is getting too close. Now, I'll be in Mexico if you need me. By then, he should have gotten the job done. And then we can take care of him. OK, Tony. I'll keep you posted. OK, Louis, you can shove off as soon as you want. I'm going to get some sleep. It's going to be a long trip. OK. Did you bring the church with you? No, do it down below. Look, don't you wake me for anything. I tell you, I'm bushed. Yeah. We should get to Mexico early tomorrow. You better believe it. Mm-hmm. 
Where's Louie? What do you want? Hello, lover. So you like beating women, huh? Huh? Yeah, what are you? What have you done to Louie? Hey, oh, oh. You know who I am. I'm Tony Da Vinci of the Da Vinci family. Thank you. I'm glad to know I got the right man, Mr. Da Vinci. I got a contract to kill you. Uh, uh, how much is it for? I, 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 I double it. What, uh... What are you going to do? Well, since you like screwing so much, I think I'll just throw your ass in the sea. Maybe some fish will bite it off. Are you? Ah! You, you, you're inhuman. Jump. No. Jump. I can't swim! Ah! It had to be Mario. Who else, huh? I'm asking you, who else would want to kill my two sons? Who else? Well, who's doing it for him? I've checked around, there's no contract out. Unless they brought somebody new in. You should have seen their mama. When I told her about her baby boy, Tony. She didn't even cry. I tried to talk to her. All she could say over and over. I have no more tears for my sons. You stay near me. Don't let me out of your sight. That's my don. I'm going to get armor in on this. That's big money, my don. Armor. What's enough? Don Da Vinci. You available? Yeah. Fifty grand in advance. I'll check into the tower, have someone meet me in the morning with the money. When I get it, I'll call you. Nancy? Yeah. It's done. You meet me tomorrow. Bring the information. Same place. Bye.
hold it right there. You won't be making any deliveries today. Hey, what's this all about, man? I, I mean, I only work here, you know? I'll ask the questions. Is Mr. Da Vinci in there? No. No, he's not. I'm, I'm going up this house now to make a pickup. Well, that's fine, friend. Let's not keep him waiting there. You got it. Compliments of Mario Riccone. Rest in peace.
So it was you that tried to run me over, huh? What's it all about? I've got a contract on you, Johnny boy. Today is collection day, huh? It's now or later. Either way, I collect. Because you killed my man, that's why. Tony da Vinci didn't rape me. He didn't have to. So long, sucker. Yeah. 